And gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, Reigns of Reason, of the intro section, doing chess board cell color. Now, what are we doing here? Well, we have a board, and we want to know if they are going to be on the same color or not. Now, you can tell by looking at the board, and mind you, that so the, the horizontal are letters, and the vertical are numbers. Now, but you can tell by looking at the board that it is a perfect square, and that there is a pattern to it, so you should kind of be you sh you can you should kind of be triggered uh, on the point to say, hey, there might be a pattern here, and there is. Now, the way that I solved this was I basically converted these a a through g's to their numeric values, and then i i added the va i added the the board look the the horizontal and the vertical together, and then what I did was I compared the two the cell one versus cell two <coughs> to find out if when we modulo it by two they're identical if they are it means they're on the same color so for instance we have one and three so when we add these together that's uh one one is two three one is is four so modulo two this is zero this is zero now if we did two and one uh and it, you can see that it's going to go for the same for all of them, by the way. Uh, but if you did two and one, so this is two, this is three, modulo one, and then this is modulo zero. So if we follow that pattern, if you're able to see this pattern, it becomes a very quick uh, task. And when, again, some of the things to look for, and I've talked about this in the, in the past, is the pattern recognition. And they give you a nice, big, perfect square here with a clear pattern. You should see that something is up. So how I did this was I defined an object called board and this is how we're going to convert our a through g's so board is an object and in here we're going to have a and a has a value of one we're going to have b b has a value of two all the way down to the h so c is three D is four, D e is five, F is six, G is seven, and finally H is eight. All right, now that we have our board set up, we now just have to, we know that every letter that's coming in, each, or rather each argument that's coming in will be start off with the letter the horizontal and then follow with the vertical so since we know that we can go ahead and find define our two variables total one which is essentially cell one and we're going to set this equal to a parsent value from the string value which is <coughs> um Um, it's the second value. I, I did this in a uh, strange order, so I'm going to change it up so it's not confusing. Uh, so we're going to take our board, remember that board we just created, and cell 1, 0, we're saying, hey, go ahead and return the value associated with it. So if it's an A, it's going to return 1. If it's a B, it's going to return 2. So that's what we're doing there. And then we're going to parse the, the int of the last character, which is, in this case, a 1. And we have to parse the int because it's a string, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and add that together. So now that we have that, we have total 1. And let's go ahead and do total 2 as well. Okay, space here. And it's going to be the same thing except for the second value. So we're going to check the board. Say, hey, what is actually the numeric value associated with A, B, C, all the way to G? We have cell two, the first character, and then we're gonna go ahead and parse the int of the second character of the cell two. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, at the end here, all we have to do is we have to compare the, we say, hey, return total one modulo two that is equal to the same value as total two modulo 2. If they are identical, if it's 0, if they're both 0, it's true. If 1 is 0 and 1 is 1, it's false. If they're both 1, it's true. And so when we do that, we're done. Uh, 
that's basically it. It's just a matter of following the pattern. There's probably a couple different ways you can go about this. I think this is probably pretty simple. Uh, we didn't have to loop through anything. We just check, hey, does it exist, does it not exist? Um, I found this a kind of a, a fun one once I realized, hey, there's a pattern here. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. If you're interested in joining our Facebook group and our um, Discord channel, all that stuff is in the description, as well as the Patreon if you want to support me that way. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.